everyone, it's Sam, and today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate, those that don't, I hope you're having a great day. It was so nice to be able to sleep in. I woke up not too long ago. It's 10.15, I'm just getting started, and the game plan is to just take it easy. I was playing Christmas music, I'm gonna froth my coffee right now, and just kinda get my day started. Here's the turkey. Um, last night I was like, you know what, we're not going to have anything formal, there's only a few of us here, and let's just keep it simple, whatever's ready, we'll eat, and we'll, our favorite part of Thanksgiving is the leftovers anyway, the sandwiches, um, so I'm just trying to make it easy, because this is really the first time that I'm cooking without uh, help from a grown-up, even though I'm a grown-up, but I've always been the helper in the kitchen for Thanksgiving. And I've only done Thanksgiving a couple times by myself, but I've always had my grandmother's help. She is currently in the hospital. She's doing okay, but, you know, it's kind of, I feel so bad for her because she's she was just in the hospital and now she's back again. And she was supposed to go over my stepdad's. That's a whole nother story for Thanksgiving. And was supposed to help him, um, but now she's in the hospital. I'm going to visit her later today. Um, so yeah, lots going on, and I just, I'm gonna try to vlog things today. Let's hope it comes true. <laughs> and here's the turkey ready to go in the oven. I am a little bit behind schedule, but that's okay. And that's how we usually do it. I'll take this out, the fat back out in a couple of hours, but yeah, it's gonna cook at 375 for two hours. And then I'll check on it every hour or so. Okay, it's about 12 and I'm gonna start on the appetizers and we're gonna munch on that now because we haven't really had breakfast or lunch. Here is, this is gonna be a brie appetizer and then we have uh, cheese and salami and some crackers over here. I pulled out some plates for later, the champagne glasses, a few baskets, that's for the cranberry sauce. And here's some other plates. And I had written out last year hot pepper jelly for some reason for Thanksgiving this year. So I put that out. Here's the mashed potatoes soaking. And I'm the only one who likes turnips. So I'm going to put turnips and carrots together. And lastly, here is extra stuffing. I'm going to add more breadcrumbs. Uh, so the bottom layer is the stuffing that I had made earlier. And then I just added the other ingredients to it because I'm going to double it. Here are the green beans. Semi-prepared. I have to add the rest of the French's onions, fried onions on there, and then I made the extra stuffing. And here is the cranberry brie bites, bites. They were supposed to be in mini muffin tins, but I let somebody borrow it. And I just made a whole, like a flatbread almost. Looks so yummy, and then we're gonna have it with that. So excited. We're gonna eat a little bit of this now. The turkey after two hours, I basted it, and just be careful the bottom. You have to make sure that uh, you have enough broth in there so that the bottom doesn't burn. But it's looking good so far. I'm gonna check it now. I'm gonna put it back in and check it out every hour until it's ready. This is the stuff that's ready to go. Here are a little bit of carrots that I was cooking with the turnips that's the turnips and carrots and then here are the mashed potatoes okay it is about 2 45 and i just put the turkey back in the oven after checking it i removed the foil i added the fat back and some butter and it's uh the fat back is dripping down the oils are coming out of it and running alongside the turkey and going to the bottom and I think that's going to be a really nice gravy. Um, it's already starting to get a nice golden color. I'm going to give it one more hour and maybe the turkey will be done but it's looking real good right now. Here's Ava resting. I think this is captures Thanksgiving mood. Um, it's been very relaxing and I don't know the past Thanksgivings have been kind of hectic and I just needed this day to rest mentally and physically and yeah I'm going to take a short nap. I have to ch check on the turkey in a half an hour or so. That should be perfect. And here she is. She's done. 
she looks gorgeous and I'm gonna let it rest for a half an hour I'm gonna cover it in foil there's what's gonna be our future gravy and all that burnt bits bottom bits there is gonna make an awesome gravy and then I put the rest of the stuffing we love stuffing in this family and the green beans are cooking in there and the rest and the only thing I have to bake now is the crescent rolls. I forgot that I have to make the gravy. Look at how beautiful. I took out the, some of the fat that rose to the top there. And I put in chicken stock. And I'm going to put in some flour. I put in a little wonder, wonder, wonder <laughs> flour. But I didn't have a lot. So I'm going to put some uh, regular flour in there. And no salt because it's pretty salty from I think the bacon and just the other stuff that I put in here I added cracked black pepper and I'm just gonna keep on stirring this I apologize for the dirty dishes but I just wanted to show you the damage And here is the carcass. I just finished carving it. That's going to be for some soup, the meat that's on that foil. Then here is for sandwiches. And then that's going to be also for the soup. It is currently, as you can tell, 10. And we're probably going to eat some sandwiches in a little bit. And yeah, I feel like it seemed like a lot of food, but I think it's actually going to be the perfect amount. For the rest of the next few days we're going to be having turkey hey guys i am sitting on the couch it's dark here at this side of the house it's not dark over there but it's dark over here it looks like i'm filming from a phone from the 2000 early 2000. <laughs> uh, i just want to close out the vlog i hope you enjoyed a glimpse into my thanksgiving day it was probably one of the most relaxing thanksgivings i've had in past years when I've cooked with my family, um, well, my grandmother in particular, it's been not always so fun and kind of anxiety inducing for me anyway. Um, but just to be kind of in the kitchen on my own and it was like no set time and you didn't have to get ready and there wasn't a bunch of people coming. Um, it was just relaxing. The most stressful part of the day actually was the last 10-15 minutes when everything has to come together and you're reheating stuff and um, that part was a bit stressful but other than that it was really nice I didn't show this part but I went to uh, after we ate dinner uh, we went to Staten Island to visit my stepdad and kind of hang out there for a little bit and then after that we went to see my grandmother in the hospital I brought her some goodies uh, that she could have tomorrow uh, and then we came back home and now I'm in my PJs and I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. So I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm back. If you made it this far, you are amazing. Uh, so I am, it's the next day. I am currently making chicken soup and the carcass is so big. I couldn't fit all of it. It's like the, the, the main part of the body and the the wings and other stuff that I wanted to put in here like this one has the neck the neck in here that came that comes in the turkey and then what I put in it is onions carrots and celery and salt and pepper and I'm just gonna let that simmer for a long time about two to three hours and then we'll have this for today and tomorrow okay officially now bye bye <laughs>